I have my leads. Um, the leads are the wires. And then I have my electrodes, which is extremely important, which you need to place on the patient. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in real quickly. So one thing that you need to know about the leads, they're labeled and it lets you know exactly where to place them. As you can see right here on this lead, RA stands for right arm. RL stands for right leg. And this stands for left arm. LL stands for left leg. All right, extremely important. All right, so then you have the leads that you can go ahead and place on the patient's chest. Um, starting from one to six, as you can see. So this says V1, um, V2 is right here. And then they're just labeled all the way V5, V4, as you can see. And this one right here is V3, no V6. All right, so as you can see, this says V6. So this is my patient right here. So just remember whenever you walk into a room, you always want to identify who you are and let the patient know what you're going to be doing. So this is my patient. Her name is Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how are you doing? My name is EKG technician Sam, and today I'll be performing EKG. Is that okay with you? Sarah said yes. So once the patient confirms and said it's okay, so remember the patients do have their rights. Um, if the patient say no, then go ahead and not do the EKG. You want to let the patient know that you're going to go ahead and place these electrodes on their skin. So they're going to need to expose themselves so you could be able to do the EKG properly. All right. So when you start off your EKG, you want to make sure that you have your electrodes. So now my patient is exposed. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my patient down with some alcohol wipes. And the reason I'm wiping the patient down is just in case that they have like any oil or lotion or whatever the case is or sweat. Um, it'll be really hard for my electrodes to actually stick on the patient's skin. So these are electrodes which I'm gonna place on the patient's skin. So it's extremely important just to make sure you get all that extra dirt off. All right, so there's different areas you wanna clean. You clean the chest. Clean the arms. Just make sure when you're doing this that you place the stickers on the patient in the same area. So as you can see, I place one here. I'm gonna place another one here. All right. So they have to be on the same level, pretty much balanced, bilateral on both sides, as you can see, just like this. All right. So one shouldn't be here, and then the other one is all the way. And the other one shouldn't be up here, all right? So they need to be on the same level, all right? So if one is here, then you need to remove this one on this side and then bring it all the way up here, all right? So they have to be on the same level. I'm gonna edit it. Yeah. All right, so I just want you to know that real quickly. So next thing you wanna do is, I didn't get to the legs yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the patient's legs and wipe the patient off with some alcohol. Same thing though for the legs. If you place one electro here, the other electro should be here. Um, electro here and the other one's down here. So it's very important just to make sure they're bilateral on the same level. So go ahead and make sure you put some alcohol on the patient, wipe them down a little bit. Now you wanna go ahead and place your electrodes on the patient. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top and work my way to the bottom. So you place one here on this side of the chest. I'm gonna extend it up. See the then you're going to place one here. And place one here. And place one here. You place one here. 
and you place one here. This is how you want it to look. So you want everything to pretty much be leveled out. So you have V1, V2, V3, 4, 5, and 6. And don't worry, when you're doing the EKG, you won't have to take off your bra while you're training here at the emergency training center. Um, at the hospitals, of course, your patients might have to take off their bra, but for training, no one takes off their bra. All right, so as you can see, I have my electrodes here as well. On the arms, bilateral, they're on both sides. As you can see, my patient have it on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and place electrodes on the patient's legs. One goes here. And one goes here. All right, as you can see, they're on the patient's legs. All right, so when you have the electrodes on the patients, the part that's on the upper part, superior part of the body, of course, um, with the arms and the torso, you wanna make sure that your electrodes are facing towards the ground. As you can see, I'm talking about this part right here. So you can see this curved part, this old kind of oval crescent shape, it's facing towards the ground on the patient. Everything on the upper part of the body, on the arms, right? On the torso, all facing towards the ground. Another thing as well, you wanna make sure that you have the parts that are on, on the legs. As you can see, it's facing upwards. As you can see, it's face upwards. All right, so on the lower part of the body, you wanna make sure that the electro is facing upwards. A lot of students do ask, hey, so what happens if the patient doesn't have any legs? All right, All right so if the patient has no legs, you are gonna go ahead and place it on the patient abdomen. Just remember, like I told you, that if it's on the lower part of the body, it still has to be face upwards, just like this. As you can see, it's still coming up. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this patient doesn't have any legs. So as you can see, then my entire EKG would consist of the electrodes being right here. As you can see on the top part of the chest, going right under pretty much the crescent area, pretty much where the patient's bra is. Um, at the same time as well, you want to make sure that you have it on the patient's arms on both sides, all right? If the patient has no legs. All right. So I'm gonna... So returning to my 12-week EKG, you want to make sure that the patient is calm. You want to make sure that you're not having a full-blown conversation with the patient. You want to make sure that the patient is not cold because if this patient is cold, um, they're gonna be moving around a little bit, all right? You wanna make sure that the patient is as easy as possible. Um, you wanna make sure the patient is nice, calm, hanging out. If the patient has any type of cell phones or any type of electronic device, you wanna to try to move it away from the patient and also the EKG machine, so you won't get any artifacts. So, so these are my leads. Now I'm going to connect them to the patient. So as you can see, it says RA. So RA stands for right arm. So you're going to put it on the patient's right arm. So this says RL. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the patient's right, right leg. This says LL, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the patient's left leg. So these are they're gonna be the leads. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the patient's chest and arms. I mean on the patient's chest. So I have one arm lead that's missing. I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see right here. So as you can see right here, it says left arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the patient's left arm.
at the same time as well when you place these um when you place these leads on the electrodes you want to make sure that they face in this direction so you shouldn't come to skills and you're doing this all right can't be upside down it has to look like this all right extremely important So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my um, leads on my patient's chest, starting with V1. So V1 is on the patient's right side. As you can see, this is where we start, V1. V2, as you can see here, I'm gonna make my way over to the patient's left side. V3 is here. V4, V5, V6. All right, so extremely important to make sure that you place this on properly on your patient, all right? As you can see, I have my leads in the right areas. So you always wanna make sure you double check just to make sure that your leads are placed properly on the patient's electrodes. All right, so this is what you call 12 lead EKG. Just so you know, this is called an alligator clip. So a lot of times when you work in at the hospitals or clinics, um, this might actually break and snap off. You wanna make sure that you just get a new alligator clip for, from wherever they keep it at, um, connected back to the lead. As you can see, I wanna go ahead and connect it back. All right, so these are not disposable, so don't go, don't toss this out after every patient. Um, you wanna make sure, if anything, you could wipe, wipe them down with disinfectant wipes, but unless it has like blood or vomit or something like that, you don't have to toss it up. Um, but just make sure that you know that these could break at some times. So if they do break, you wanna just make sure you get another one. I'm gonna connect it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the patient a little bit. You wanna make sure that the leads are on the patient, right? And the reason I'm putting a blanket back on the patient so they're not cold or anything, so I can have a nice EKG. So just remember, this is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. As you can see right here, it says RA, right arm, left arm. Right here, it says LL. And this right here says right leg.